Thank you for asking me to do this. These are great questions. First interview question, what would the exact opposite of you be like? The exact opposite of me would be a jerk. Cause I'm nice. That sounds, that sounds about right. I mean, some of the things that I guess I don't love about myself are that I'm, uh, I'm impatient and I'm a perfectionist. I mean, there are a lot of things that I am, that there are opposites of, but those two stick out. So I think the opposite of me would be somebody who's really patient and probably allows themselves to be messier in life, I guess, in general. What's your creative outlet? I have a lot of creative outlets. I think I mean, the biggest one right now is playing guitar. I've been playing guitar since I was 13 years old, but I learned a few things and then never learned anything else, really. So I've always been able to kind of play songs, but never had a deep understanding of like how the whole guitar works. So I started taking lessons last year and I'm getting into it. And so I keep a guitar in my dressing room at work. And so I play it in between scenes and rehearsals and whatever, um, as much as I can. Unfortunately, I left it there when we went on hiatus when we didn't know that we were gonna be like shut down because of the quarantine. So now my guitar is trapped in the Sony lots, but I got a, an acoustic at home. So I'm still playing that, which is nice. Okay, what fun game or activity from your childhood do you wish kids still played today? I grew up in a really rural area in the late 70s and 80s when I feel like the world was a little bit safer maybe. I don't know, it just maybe just felt like that. But we did a lot of like playing in the woods and a lot of bike riding. And our parents were just like, yeah, go outside and come back when it gets dark and have an adventure. And so that was a huge part of my childhood. And I want that for kids. I want that for my kid. I want kids to be able to just go outside and adventure. And so, you know, maybe it's just because we live in Los Angeles, it feels like there's less of that, but I just want all kids to adventure outside. Okay, what's the most frustrating app you've ever tried? Right now, I've been trying to print some postage on stamps.com and it's driving me crazy. I don't know what's going on, but I can't get it done. So in this moment, stamps.com, what's going on between us, stamps.com, let's talk, let's work it out. It's killing me. Uh, what's one thing you learned this week? Um, I learned a lot this week. I learn a lot every day because I have a two-year-old and he teaches me things all the time. Patience, understanding, <laughs> things that I should know. Mostly what he teaches me, especially this week, is to, is to live in the moment and be present and uh, just be here now because he's a two-year-old, so that's all he does is just live in the moment. And it's the coolest thing, and he's so happy all the time because he's just focused on what's in front of him and what's gonna make him happy and what's gonna be fun in that moment. And I feel like we all need to do that. What's your most impressive go-to meal that you can cook? You know, I grew up working in restaurants. My first job was at 14. I was a dishwasher in a French restaurant in my hometown called Scandia. Uh, it's no longer there, but it was awesome. I worked there for, I don't know, probably five years on the weekends during high school and then during the summers. And uh, I learned so much and I made a lot of friends there and it was just so fun. And I eventually worked my way up to being prep cook. And um, I just developed a really like strong love for, for cooking. Also just food preparation because I would have to like dice five gallon buckets of mushrooms for hours. Um, so I do love to cook and uh, I cook a lot. I mean, I don't know how impressive the dishes are. I think like maybe like it's what's what's more impressive is like the the ease with which I do it, maybe <laughs> rather than the actual recipes because they're not crazy gourmet, but I can like whip up tasty stuff pretty quickly. I did cook a beef stew the other night from scratch off the top of my head that I must say was world class. Movie book or music? Movie book or music? That is so hard. No TV? TV? I love TV. <laughs> I got so many go-to, I'm gonna add that as a category. I can't, I can't, well, okay. I have to choose between one of those four. 
that's hard. I would say music, I guess. Because music, is, you can take everywhere. Yeah. And I just love, love, love music. It's every, it's like, a, it's a part of every part of my life. It's like the other family member to me. So yeah, music. Um, with TV and movies being a very close second and then obviously books. And so based on that answer, what are some of your top favorite movie books or songs? Okay, um, let's go through movies. Big. Big is not necessarily like a film snob's number one movie, but it's not about being a film snob. It's about things that make you feel stuff. And Big makes me feel really good. I love Tom Hanks. I love that story. I love that time period. I remember the day that I saw that movie, the movie theater. I remember who I was with. I just love that movie. So uh, Big makes me feel great. It's a delightful movie. Um, books. Uh, People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. I'm a big fan of history and I'm a big fan of the truth. And so that's an amazing, amazing book. Everyone should read it. Songs. Um, so many, so many songs. Uh, Van Morrison is almost always on in this house. I love Van Morrison so, so much. Um, I love the Grateful Dead. I, you could call me a deadhead, I think, for sure. I'm obsessed with the Almond Brothers, Bob Dylan. Um, does this sound like the band list of a middle-aged guy? <laughs> Um, but I also love a lot of new stuff, and I love pop, I love jazz, I love reggae, I love grizzly bear, um, I love band of horses. I, I don't know, there's just a lot of, you know, a lot of bands I love. Um, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Keith Jarrett. If you haven't listened to Keith Jarrett, listen to some Keith Jarrett. Um, but if I had to name one song, I would say, you know, every time The Wait by the band comes on, I just smile and feel warm. I love that song. I love that song and I love it by the band. So those are all my choices. And then TV shows, uh, one day at a time. That's it, just that show. The new one and the old one, but the new one more so. Uh, <laughs> beyond that, I have, man, the West Wing, uh, the West Wing is probably one of, I would say, my favorite shows. Uh, Cheers, Taxi, anything by the great Norman Lear, All in the Family, Good Times, Jefferson's One Day at a Time, I mean, Mod, all of them. Um, so anyway, that's a long list. I could, I mean, we could do a whole interview just based on my music and TV uh, choices. Okay, this is my last question. Time freezes for everyone for 24 hours except you. What do you do? This is so hard because I love people so much and I don't want anyone to freeze. So I, I don't know what, <laughs> I would spend half the day being bummed that I couldn't like hang out with my family and friends. Um, so I think I would just like run around and give them all hugs. Um, and then I would probably, um, I don't know. I mean, I would love to say like I'd try to go solve all the world's problems, but you need the people for that to be unfrozen. <laughs> so I guess I couldn't do that. I don't know. I would probably uh, steal from the rich and give to the poor. Probably. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. I mean, um, I would go surfing. <laughs> do some surfing. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I would probably try to fix as many problems as I could that didn't require other people. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got. Those are all my questions. Um, thank you for listening to me ramble about stuff. All right.